You know, there's actually one group of investors who've been enjoying the market's roller coaster ride. They're the day traders who use computerized systems to trade directly with NASDAQ market makers. Uh, Jerry Cobb shadowed one of them during yesterday's session. Don't talk to Richard Gillum about market psychology or fundamental analysis. Like thousands of other day traders, he cares about one thing and one thing only. The only thing I'm interested in is movement. If I see something running up, I'll buy it. If I see something crashing, I'll short sell it. Using NASDAQ's Small Order Execution System, or SOS, and other real-time trading systems, Gillum and his fellow day traders try to jump in and out of fast-moving stocks in time to pocket profits. With a trading account of $50,000, he can use in-house margin to control up to a million dollars worth of stock. It's uh, 23 and 11 sixteenths. I got in at 23 and 3 quarters, about 6,000 shares. So right now we're looking at a 25 and an eighth. Um, I'll have at least five to 6,000 on that trade. Gillum supports himself with day trading as he trains for the Olympic figure skating team. He and other day traders now account for an estimated 12% of NASDAQ's daily volume. And while traditional investors may get spooked by big sell-offs, Gillum and his cohorts live for them. Stocks tend to rise slower than they uh, drop. Uh, stock will always crater quicker than it will uh, get a few points. So it's easier for us to make money on the downside. We can make more money uh, quickly. 7,300 bid at 103,000 offered at an eight. Gillum doesn't see or care about any trend in the market right now. He's usually out of stocks completely anyway by the end of each session, usually several hundreds, if not thousands of dollars richer. Yet while profits can come quickly to the day trader, so can losses. There have been many times where I've walked away from a screen uh, having been down uh, six figures, and it's not a lot of fun. There are now about 2,000 firms that set up advanced trading rooms like this one, and their number is growing. And though critics accuse them of exacerbating the market's volatility, day traders claim they actually help narrow the spreads on NASDAQ stocks, saving other investors billions of dollars. Jerry Cobb, This Morning's Business, Irvine, California.